Look at all that neon. All this this grayness, and then you're just bam, light, Woo! light. It's about that time again. What is up guys? If you're watching this, that means you got another day. Welcome back to another tutorial. I'm going to keep dropping these every Tuesday. You guys can expect vlogs on every Thursday or something crazy. I don't know. Um, huge shout out to Life of Paulos for shouting out these tutorials. I guess that means that you guys are learning something from them. Last week's was with Stradman. This week's is with Edmund Mondi. We did a shoot last Thursday, I think, with his Twin Turbo 3RS and my girl here, Jennifer, who I will link in the description below if you want to follow one of my amazing models. Um, we are going to be doing one of my signature shoots today. You better tag me if you use this tutorial because I'm going to know if, it's, if you watched it because nobody else does this type of edit, all right? So what we're gonna do is basically blur the outside part of this and also of course added the colors and everything. But we're gonna make it look like Jennifer is literally whipping the 3RS in like a donut with like smoke and some fire and everything coming out. This is a whole lot easier than you think. Um, but like I said, tag me if you do it because I love to comment on this. I love to see when people are using the uh, tutorials and getting better. Um, and then if you make something really fire, I might share it. Okay. Starting off. Oh, also shout out to everybody that pointed out all the things I did wrong in the last tutorial. I love you guys for making me better. All right, we're going to hit that levels uh, preset just like last time. Remember that just um, gives me the dots on the curve here. That's step one. Going to hit that white balance. Let's see. Something white, something white. Not a lot. Oh, there's some white. Uh, are we changing at all? Is there anything changing? Okay. So it's mostly white balance already. We had some really even lighting that day. Um, by the way, you're going to see a video for this project drop both a vlog and a finished cinematic piece from this day because, uh, of course, we did some donuts and some other uh, hood rat stuff, so you're gonna, you guys are going to love this. All right, let's see where we're at with exposure. I'm going to bump it up a little bit. I've noticed lately that some of my photos have been kind of darker because when I transfer them from Lightroom to Instagram, they just lose some of their richness, so I'm going to edit a little bit lighter than I normally would, just something I picked up on. With some of my recent edits, all right, contrast, we're gonna get a little deep because we want intensity in this photo. Uh, highlights, you can see the top there is kind of blown out so we can recover some of that detail back by dropping the highlights. Where are we at in those shadows? Um, right there, we like it moody looking around her hair. I don't need to see all the detail there. Whites, let's pop that up a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm trying to make the, sh the, uh, the photos pop more so I gotta edit them brighter than I actually want to, okay. A nice little flatness on the black, so maybe like plus 12. Um, let's see what this tail end does if I like that. I like the flatness there, but not too much. Let's see without it. I don't know, I kind of like it without it. Let's just add just a hair. There we go. And what are we doing here? What does this one got? Okay. I might keep that up just a tad to bring some detail back up here on the top of the TTRS. All right. And then see what our sliders do. I like where those are. Probably just leave those alone. Yeah. White balance, pretty clean. All right, where are the reds in the photo? In her lips only? We can probably leave that alone. What about the oranges? Obviously in her skin. Jennifer told me she got a tan right before the shoot and she hit the gym like crazy the last couple days and it showed, you guys, she crushed this shoot. Uh, Jenna's a good friend of mine. We've shot quite a bunch over the last couple years, or I guess year and a half, so if you dig way down in my Instagram feed, you'll see a lot of Jennifer. All right, um, yellows in her blonde hair, yellows in the car, obviously. Uh, we'll pop that up just a little bit to make it pop, but just dip it to the left a little bit to make them slightly orange. It's just a little more calmer on the eye, less highlighter. Uh, where the luminance at? Okay, a little bit dialed down on the luminance to bring some color back in the yellow on the car, and then also make her hair not so in your face. Obviously, there's green in the shot. Let's make that green pop. Plus 19 looking good. And just swing a little bit to left to just make it look a little different, right? Luminance plus two. Again, we're just making these colors pop. We want this to really like be in your face. Um, not really any blues going on here. So we'll just leave the blues alone. Uh, pretty sure there's gonna be some purples. Yep, uh, we want the purple to pop too. What hue though? Hmm. It's almost looking pink. Uh, right about there. I'm still trying to get, recover some detail here in the top without affecting too much of the photo. What about the, yep, got some of this too. By the way guys, 
I'm excited for this Thursday's vlog, the vlog that's gonna drop two days from when this drops. It's gonna be called something like quitting my job and it is featuring Gary V. I am not lying when I say that I did a one-on-one -on -one Q and A with Gary V where I talk about when is the good time to leave your job to pursue a passion like YouTube. Um, I got some really great questions in, a uh, really, really solid Q and A. Um, and I'm excited to share that with you guys. So I got it all recorded and then on top of that, I'm gonna give you guys just some thoughts on where I'm at right now with uh, my day job as well as the YouTube pursuit. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked for Thursday's vlog. All right, um, I thought I was gonna be able to drop the video for this on Thursday, but we're going through some approvals because I think some pages out there are gonna be using it. So we gotta make sure everybody's on board with it before we can send it anywhere. All right, so all of my basic colors, everything here is all Gucci. We're gonna switch over to the paintbrush here. And first thing I do is fix the eyes. Hello, Jennifer. All right, so we're using the brackets on the keyboard. Um, if you don't know what a bracket is, Google it. And then just put a uh, point down, hit O a couple times till it shows up as red. I don't know what the hotkeys are for a PC. I assume they're basically the same. And just paint in her eye. You guys are getting a car edit with a model edit in the same tutorial. How awesome is that? All right, get rid of the red again. Press O two more times. Uh, these sliders all need to be reset. All right, that's exactly how they looked naturally. So what I usually do is drop the clarity just a little bit, make the eyes smooth. What does Haze do? Maybe bump it up like three. I want the whites to come back in, so I'm gonna pop whites a little bit and pull saturation. Saturation's gonna take that color out of it, but still leave some color in the uh, center part of the eye, just barely enough. Sometimes I bump it like just a little bit on the blue side and then increase sharpness to add that detail back. These are just stylistic choices. There's a lot of ways to correct eyes. That's just how I do it. Sometimes you have to do teeth too. Nothing to do with the model. It's just how you are manipulating the colors in the photo and sometimes that results in not very white teeth. But go figure, Jens look perfect here. Um, another thing that we sometimes have to do is just bring some detail out underneath the eyes. And this is literally every model. This doesn't matter who you are. It just looks cleaner when you can pull out some of the naturally occurring shadows from the lighting there. All right, let's reset our sliders from what they were with the ice. And I pull clarity out. You can see how it smoothens it out quite a bit. Um, drop the contrast just a little bit. Raise the saturation, maybe like one point or something. Uh, pull some noise out, bring the shadows up. You could start to see underneath her eyes just ever so subtly are um, smoothening out. And some, some people, depending on who you shoot, uh, need a little more correction than others. I think I'm happy with just this subtle adjustment. Um, again, she did a great job with just hair and makeup, being camera ready, just everything. All right, what else do we need to adjust on the car as far as lighting goes? This is looking pretty clean. I think I'm just gonna do one final like bump up on exposure to just make this really pop because again, this is like kind of how I would normally do it, but Instagram be crushing my saturation and my whites i don't know what's going on there so let's just make it pop a little bit more okay i think that's about as far as i'm comfortable ramping it up maybe drop the highlights i'm getting a little out of my comfort zone editing it this bright but full send whatever okay i think we're gucci let me drop the highs this is like it just feels weird because it just looks too bright but i think i think we're okay um all, oh gradients forgot my gradients okay we gotta get a shadow going on down here. Reset my sliders because they're using the under the eye settings. Uh, anytime you add like a paintbrush or a gradient or something like that, it automatically has like whatever the last thing is you edited. So make sure you're constantly resetting those settings when you put a new element on the photo. I'm gonna drop the exposure there. You can see how it just, it's all about drawing your eye into the subject. So this is empty space, up here is empty space. We need to kind of make the eye go here. So dropping the exposure, maybe a little bit of that clarity action, maybe a tad on the saturation, just something that is gonna bring your eye to the center. I think that's good enough without taking too much detail out. And then again on the top, uh, the top is looking weird. I wanna bring that saturation back. Maybe drop this quite a bit more. I don't want to lose too much detail on the top there. Just just subtle, 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 subtle. 
and then the back end here too. I wanna get rid of that back part. Now, Instagram is super dope because even though I shot this in like a Sony and it looks all awesome like this, Instagram's gonna cut like the top part and bottom off, so we're gonna lose some detail in this. It might not even capture it all on Instagram just because how I shot it. I'm sure I could crop it to accommodate, but whatever, full send, we'll figure that out later. Um, I'm thinking we're good. Oh, let's do some face corrections real fast. Jen just really doesn't need it. Like you could probably get away with just not doing anything and normally I probably would, but I'm gonna show you guys just for the sake of showing you how I do face. So pushing O two more times so I can see everything that's red and just paint her face in. This is like so unnecessary for her, but like I said, I just kinda wanna show you guys what I do when face does need correction, which it, you know, it depends if it depends on the model, it depends on the lighting, it depends on their makeup for the day. Sometimes I shoot models and there's like, you know, no correction whatsoever needed. And then some days I'll shoot the exact same model and like, you know, just based on that day and that lighting and whatnot, you need some face correction. So it just all depends. I know every time my face is shot, I need heavy correction. All right, that's mostly painted in. I don't like to like take the detail out of the eyes or other places. This is close enough. I could get really picky about it, just like when I'm painting the cars. But, oh, let me get down here too. By the way, when you have the brush activated, if you wanna move the picture around, you just hit spacebar and it turns into a hand and then you can drag it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, all the skin, we got it. Pain in the hand. I'm just doing like very, very ballpark on this. Don't sue me. All you guys that are super nitpicky on like my edits, thanks. Okay, okay. Also, I love that you, when you guys message me and you use these edits or these, sorry, use these tutorials and it's helping you better, I literally read every single DM. I don't think you guys realize. Some people I send video messages back to, some people I do audio messages. Like, I'm very interactive with you guys when you give me feedback or just say you love it or if there's some way I can improve. I joke about it, like how some of you are like picky, but like I know like I have like the greatest fan base um, you guys are like YouTube is supposed to be the platform where you just get destroyed in the comments and it's like my comments and like to dislike ratio is so overwhelmingly overwhelmingly positive it just doesn't make sense all right so I'm dropping the clarity I'm dropping the contrast I'm raising the shadows it just smoothens out the face in general you don't want to drop too much clarity because you start to lose detail but I think that's a fair amount for what we have here and then shadows bringing it up, just pulls you know shadows out like under her lip or like around your cheek and stuff. It just makes a less harsh face. If you were to think the opposite of that, where if we like, I don't know, drop shadows a whole bunch, you could see how it just looks more aggressive and like, un it like ages her almost. So we wanna raise the shadows up. Look at how much cleaner that is. And then the contrast does you know some favors for on some of these edges. It's all about just smoothing it out. We'll take a little bit of noise off of it, maybe a little more clarity, maybe like one click on the dehaze. Overall, those are some tools that I'm touching to, to fix a face, but like, honestly, it just depends. Sometimes I, you know, mess with black, sometimes I mess with exposure, but like, those are kind of the main ones. Clarity, noise, shadows, contrast. I think are the big ones for face. Um, and then obviously it changed her hand a little bit, but I think, I think Jen's good to go. Um, let's see, anything else on the photo? I think all the colors look good here. I think it's time to bring this bad boy into Photoshop. Right click, edit in Photoshop. 13 minutes deep. I'm trying to go fast. I want these tutorials to be quick, not waste your time, straight to the point. Um, so when you watch these, it's not some guy that's like, oh, my name's Dragon Slayer 69 welcome to my tutorial, and he's got like a 10 minute intro. That's stupid. When I'm watching intros, I wanna sit down, learn it, and move on. All right. Come on, Photoshop, I believe in you. All right, let's hit J. Let's get rid of my reflection. That thing's been driving me crazy this entire time. Somebody taught me about how to like create mask layers and stuff like that. I haven't mastered that yet, so I don't wanna like dive into it until I've like fully mastered it, but I'm sure there's a better way to do this um, using like masking layers and stuff. So um, continue to follow the tutorials and you know, I'm sure we'll incorporate that down the line. While I'm correcting some areas on here, I wanna give some shout outs to some people, other creators out there that have very directly been involved in helping me build my channel, giving me advice and feedback. 
First up on the list, since I was talking about gradients, is George Williams. GF Williams, I think, is his handle on Instagram. If you just look up people I follow, go to George Williams. The dude has been dropping some really high quality vlogs lately, and uh, he was just over at Geneva. He was shooting with uh, the Zinger 21C. Um, he just, it, when, when it comes to quality, this dude is just like next level on his vlogs and stuff. I remember we, uh, I, I got to meet him one day um, a couple weeks ago and oh my gosh stop and uh we got a burger and i was like bro like i was looking at his photos i was like you need to vlog like these these adventures are so epic and he's like okay and then he started doing vlogs and guess what everybody wanted to watch him because george is awesome okay also uh shout out to vehicle virgins parker has been a homie he has been texting me advice on how to build the channel he uh told me specifically the last thing was um he literally became a slave to building his channel and uploading three to four videos a week. I was doing one video a week at the time. This is why I'm doing two, is because Parker said, get it up to three to four if possible. So that's what I'm working towards. I'm trying to just build my, my schedule so freaking insane, guys. But like, I'm like, you know, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. So wherever we gotta sacrifice to make room for it. Um, so thank you, Parker, for your advice, uh, continued advice and support in helping me build my channel. And um, obviously Edmund Mondi, we'll talk about him more in the actual vlog because Edmund is a great friend, so genuine, so kind, so fun to be around. Like ladies, that that is the man you need to you need to chase. All right, um, I think we're all cleaned up mostly here. Up oh, there's like one weird shadow right here. I gotta get that. All right, I think that's looking good. Jen just has such a naturally beautiful face. Like, there's so little effort involved in, like, making this presentable. Like, I could literally just skip everything I'm doing now, but I just, I want you guys to see the repair process in case you get someone with a busted face like mine. Okay, let's see. Cleaning up the little glares over here on the mirror. I just want it to be all jet black. It's lagging a little bit because we're doing a screen recording and my computer from 2015 is just struggling. I had a choice. I could wrap the car, or I could get a new MacBook, and I don't have a new MacBook, so. All right. I think we're good to go there. Now, time for the fun part. Let's add in the effects. So I'm going to hit save just in case. Hit my finder. First step is to, oh, we need to, do I blur this first or do I add my elements? I think I'm gonna add, I think I add elements, then blur. I'm trying to think of how I did this. I believe, hmm, I think it's blur then elements. Blur, if I blur it after the elements. Yeah, let's add elements first and then blur. I don't know, one of, one of these ways looks better than the other, but I think both will look good either way. Where is my smoke? Which fog do I want to use? Hmm. So many options. I've been using that one a lot lately for this type of edit. All I did was Google smoke overlay. And you got so many to choose from. I like even put this over a wheel one time. Like there's so many ways to do this. All right, drop that bad boy in, rotate it around. Gotta make it bigger. Hold down shift to lock your dimensions, by the way. Otherwise it gets all weird like that. Command Z is undo. We're gonna rotate it. Hit screen. For the blend mode. Oh, look at this magic. You guys can see this coming together now, right? All right, um, I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit, kind of bending. This is an odd angle to do this. I wasn't planning on doing the burnout edit with this, but you know, whatever, full send. I wanna show you guys how to do this. I've done it a couple times on my page. You can see it with uh, King Triple's uh, camo BMW. We did it with first, and then I did it with um, Clayth and, uh, Clayth. <laughs> Clayton and Faith over at Summit Auto Lab. Um, I did this same edit with them and it turned out quite nice. So this is the third time. I feel like this is just kind of like a signature little trick that I figured out how to do. So I grabbed the eraser and I'm on like flow 9% so I can just kind of like blend that smoke in. There's not gonna be as much smoke as there normally is uh, just because there's just not a lot of room down here. Okay, that's presentable. Okay, hit finder. You guys get the point. I'm sure there's ways you can make this look nicer. Again, I'm trying to make these tutorials short. You guys got places to be and cars to drive. Let's hit 
All right, so I typed in like fire particles on Google and I found all this stuff. So this one is like particle deposits. This is like, you know, this is an added Michael Bay-like effect. Let's see what screen is looking like. Just, you know, adds those those evil looking sparks, I don't, I don't know. And like a little red glow to it too. Let's do that. Hmm, this is such a weird angle to do this at. If you saw my other two edits, you'll see like, if I shot this knowing I was gonna do what I'm doing now, I would have angled it so much better. All right, we're using the eraser to like blend this in. Let's see where the edges are. Let me hit normal real fast and make sure I got my edges. Yeah, see this edge up here, gotta go. It just looks cleaner. I know you probably can't tell, but you know, we gotta get the best possible edit. Now, let's see what that looks like. Screen, that's looking clean. It's looking weird with the coloring here, so I'm just like, I'm just gonna tap that uh, eraser just a couple times on this harsh black zone to kind of kill some of that contrast because it just looks like, it's like perfect up here and then it's like all crazy down here. I might even need to move it up just a little bit. Okay. Getting there, getting there. This is a process, there's no right way to do this, you know? Whatever your, whatever your style. I think even the, even the smoke needs a little adjustment. Man. Better? Sort of. Let me get rid of the erase. Or we're going to erase the corner down here. Goodbye. Okay. Now that we have those details in, it's time to blur it. So we're going to... Oh, God. Let's see if I can remember this. Now we add this layer. And I'm going to do... Filter, I think I select I select this. It's one or the other. I'm probably gonna mess it up. I'm sorry in advance. Blur gallery, path blur. We're gonna find out real quick if I did it right. I think I did it right, boys. Oh, you know what? It's not doing anything to the uh, to the elements. Maybe, you know, we'll do those in a second. I'll just do them separately. Okay, so I'm grabbing the ends of these little arrow guys and literally whatever way the arrow points is the direction that it's gonna blur. So click once. To drag, I le I'm letting go, I'm not holding down the click, and then click once more, and then once more again to finish the point. So now it's telling everything to, to like basically path blur it this direction. And then let's ramp up the speed of the car because the TT3RS does not go slow. Adjust the taper. The taper, I don't know how to describe this other than it just changes the look. So you just kind of mess with the speed and the taper until it just looks realistically blurred, basically. Okay, yeah, that smoke is definitely got to get blurred in a, in a second. Um, I like how the car is looking, though. So I'll hit OK. And it's going to do a little loading action here. All right. Let's shout out some more people. Voodoo Child on Instagram also is doing some sick edits with his GT350. The dude is out in the middle of nowhere in the Air Force, and he's building a massive following on Instagram. Tell the guy you want him to do some tutorials because he's at a whole other level um, editing and I love uh, watching him grow. Um, who else is uh, doing cool stuff on Instagram? Um, oh, at visuals, my boy Brandon down there, Huntington Beach. Um, type in Brandon and people I follow. He recently helped me with a color correction on the video for this project and that dude just has an eye that is is right on the level that I want to be at when it comes to like editing and like color correction and stuff. Really color grading. Like that dude is like crushing it. Brandon. Um, who else is doing cool stuff? Digital Dyslexia at Digital Dyslexia on Instagram is doing layers and curve work. I don't know if he's teaching you guys how to do it yet. I kind of want to know, but just pay attention to his edits because he's doing something that is unique. Um, blending different, he, he like puts down a layer, does the tone curves on it, and then layers it on top of other, the same shot but with different tone curves so he gets separation on the tone curves with the background and the actual uh, subject, which reminds me, I totally didn't do tone curves in this again because I'm an amateur. I'm sorry guys, I'll do tone curves soon. I'm starting to like get the hang of them so I will share them with you guys ASAP Rocky. All right, let's bump up the flow on the eraser because it's time to, let's actually do quite a bit. Time to get rid of, oh my God. Time to get rid of the blurriness on the, oh, you know what? I made a critical error. I forgot to copy the layer. 
Nice work. Nice. I don't know how. Can I reverse this? Can I uh, delete layer mask? I might have screwed this up, guys. Yeah. Um, cool. So you get to see me redo this. Let's see. Free transform. Blur gallery. I think I have to delete this step. Yep. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Delete layer mask. Okay, critical error. Um, let's duplicate this layer. In case you missed it, here's how to do the blur again. I'm gonna do this fast. All right, who else do we need to be following on IG while this is loading? Um, uh, some models that you guys can follow. Some really, really cool models that I work with. Um, <laughs> Uh, Rio, uh, somebody that I shot, Rio Sage, uh, with, uh, she does some stuff with Ignite, she's super awesome, um, create, blah, 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 filter, blur gallery, path blur, okay, um, okay, I'm gonna do this so fast, boom, 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 speed, taper, are we Gucci? Uh, maybe just a little more speed. It's a, it is a twin turbo. Uh, 114% seems reasonable. Okay, hit okay. All right, that was fast. Yeah, Rio Sage, follow her. Um, uh, Jessica, uh, J-E-S-S-I-K-A dot, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that last name, D-E-N-O-M-M-E-E. -E. She's friends with my girl, Francesca. You should follow those two, uh, lovely ladies. Really fun to shoot with them. Um, should have some photos of Jessica coming out eventually. Um, and then obviously the, the gram's always gonna be full of some Francesca shots. She's amazing. Oh, my girl Andrea, Andrea, whatever. I say her name wrong every time I see her. At N-D-R-E-A-S-U-S-A-N, Bush. Go follow her. She's a close friend of mine. Uh, she's part of my inner, inner, inner friend circle, so you see some cool stuff on her page, and I'll be posting some photos of her soon, too, because we went up to a castle and shot some dope stuff. Um, my girl, Danielle Trinity, D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E -L -L -E underscore Trinity, another model that I've known for some time now. Holy blur. Hurry up, man. We don't got all day. Oh, and Kiana. Ladies and gentlemen, forget everybody I've said so far. I go follow Kiana, G-O-V-I-N-D. That girl is mad in spo on the gram. She is killing it networking-wise. She's working with high-level people. She has a skill that is unmatched. She's dominating LA. I'm trying to keep up. She was also at this shoot. So if you want more photos of this that are edited better than I'm doing, go follow Kiana. All right, cool. Now we got the lair appropriately done. Now when I erase it, oh my god, look at that, imagine that. It's actually working. Yeah, we all make mistakes. Don't hate me. I guess it's just technically more like revenue money on it because you guys had to watch like 20 more seconds of this video. I'm actually not getting paid by YouTube at all. Soon though. Soon. We're working towards it. Alright, so all I'm doing is erasing the inside of the cabin, obviously, because the outside of the car we want to look like it is racing. Let's drop this flow down to like six. Get the back end kind of, sort of erased. Yeah, just the just the framing around here, and then maybe like a little bit of the of the mirror. Just a little bit of the mirror. Um, we could probably be a little more generous with the flow. Let's do like twelve percent. Okay, that's that's looking better the top half of the mirror. Alright. And then the edge of this right here would technically be in focus if we were to actually shoot this in motion. It's all about just tricking the eye. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of the frame. Just a little bit. Nope, that messed it up. Just a tad, just a tad. All right, that's looking better. Uh, let's see, this top part might have to be like erased just a little bit, just the, just the close part. You can leave the background there blurred because that would probably be blurred in real life. Okay, I'm liking how this is looking. OK, 
Okay. By the way, thinking about shooting the Stradman again in the next month or so, if you think I should. I don't know. DM me if you want to see some photos. What do you want to see? What do you want to see us shoot, man? Give me some ideas. All right, that's looking Gucci. Time to blur out the smoke because the particles are already blurred, so we don't have to do that. Um, you guys know the drill here. Let's. Um, since I don't have to erase any part of this, I don't need to duplicate the layer like I did the background. Uh, so we will just go straight into our, where is it? Filter, blur gallery, path blur. Here we go again. Let's just, this one's easy. I could probably just do it with one arrow. Yes, I can. Let's ramp up that speed just a little. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Now we're, now we're in business. Hit okay, done. That was easy. Blur it for me faster. Yeah. I believe in you. Okay, also, oh, hey, other people to follow on the gram. Um, my girl, Hannah Sluss, at Hannah Ann on IG. If you watched The Bachelor, she is like in the final, final round. She's been killing it. I shot with her a couple times last year. We became friends, and she was like, I don't know what to do with my life. Where should I move? What should I act in? I was like, I don't know, Hannah. But wherever you go, you're probably gonna kill it because you're super sweet and you know what you you know you know what you're good at. You know your your core values. Like she just she showed up on time. She was easy to work with. I was like, yo, you got nothing to worry about. And then go figure. She hits the bachelor and is killing it right now. Her following exploded, and I am a new fan of the show The Bachelor. So um, I dropped a video of her like last week. If you want to check that video out, I should be shooting with her this month again, I believe. Um, if all goes well, I know she's gonna travel out to LA, so I'm gonna try to get another shoot with Hannah Sluss on the gram for you guys. Um, other people to follow, uh, my girl Yana, uh, at Yana, K-O-T-O, -O. you probably don't know how to spell Yana, J-A-N-A, K-O-T-Y-S-A-N, on IG. She's a YouTuber as well. She is my number one go-to person to talk to about YouTube in LA. We are constantly obsessed with the idea of leaving our job and doing YouTube full time. She has a much bigger following than I do. She sings, she plays guitar, she's super sweet. She also is in that friend circle with Andrea and me and my girl Ella and we all like go to Mosaic and do hood rat stuff on the weekends. Uh, you've seen Yana in my story like a zillion times. Uh, so go check out Yana's page if you like music or people that uh, can speak whatever language they speak in Czech. I guess the Czech language, whatever. All right. Um, also, th this blur thing right now, this loading screen is slower. I don't know. Slower than a Honda Civic with an advanced auto parts exhaust on it. Go follow G.G. Gustin, G-I-G-I-G-U-S-T-I-N. I did a bunch of shooting with her too. Um, she is just like obsessed with horror films and, and, and uh, the like horror culture. So if you're in a, if you like scary movies and you like super gorgeous blondes, uh, G.G., that's your girl. Uh, go slide in her DMs and tell her that she's killing it right now. Um, because she's constantly posting up new content on her stories and she's getting like daily posts in um, So Gigi has some cool stuff Wow blur all you doing is blowing literally one layer of smoke You got this I believe in you the final step guys that we're about to do here is color that smoke because as you can tell It's all white. It doesn't look like it belongs. It's obviously fake um, So I'm gonna add in a hue and saturation layer. I'm gonna hold down option. I'm gonna apply it to here Again, I know there's probably a better way to do this, but this is just how I'm doing it. Um, let's adjust that hue. Oh, we probably need to colorize it. Yeah. Okay, so hit colorize and it actually changes it to a color because otherwise this is black and white because of the type of file that I used. Um, so I want this to be probably on the bluish side, just barely like that, like almost purple. And then drop the saturation and then drop, let's see, drop the lightness just a tad. I can see the edges on this. I need to fix that. Where are the edges on this? I saw them when I adjusted the lightness. Yep. All right, so eraser. Let's bump that up to like 20. Let's get rid of this edge here. When I moved it, it brought the edge back into play. So I got to get, get rid of that edge down there too. Okay, back to screen. See how that looks. Presentable. 
presentable. I think it needs a little less saturation, just like a tad. All right, now I think, I think that's good. I think we're Gucci. Um, like I said, there's probably better angles to shoot this, but I'm just gonna full send it with this. You guys learned how to correct faces and eyes, do motion blur, add particles and layers, um, color correct them. I still am not happy with the edge here. I can see literally the, oh, that's on, that's on this layer. Okay, yeah, let me fix that. Um, you guys learned how to color correct a very colorful car. Um, and yeah, look forward to Thursday's video. Like I said, I'm stoked. This was Gary V. I'll be posting it every single Thursday. You guys get something hot like that. Every single Tuesday, you're going to get some kind of tutorial like this. Let me hit save. All you do is hit OK to everything when it asks you. X out of Photoshop. Yes, I know it's going to throw it into Lightroom for me. Any kind of final touches. I might boost up the, the brightness just a little bit on it. And then it imports right here. Maybe one day, I don't know. While we wait, oh, oh, there it goes. Almost. This is my recent shoot with Yana and Andrea, you, so you guys can recognize their faces. Um, just so you know, everybody makes mistakes. These photos you see here are the only ones that I got from that shoot because I transferred a couple photos over and then I formatted the car because I'm an amateur. So I'm gonna try to see if I can recover those. All right, finish shot. Make sure you guys are liking this video. Like the video if it helped you. Tag me if you use this because I will literally comment and like it. If it's fire, I might share it to the story. And like I said, I reply to every single comment. So if you comment on the video, I'm gonna see it. I'm going to respond to you. If you give me an emoji or say this is dope, I'm gonna reply with an emoji or say this is dope. If you give me a paragraph or put some thought into it, I will put some thought in my response. I can't get to the top without you guys. Every single one of you is important. I don't care. Some of you are like, oh, your account is so big. Like, wow, that's so cool you reply. guys. It is not hard to reply to all of you, so you're not bothering me. I love to engage with uh, my followers and help you guys out um, because you guys are helping me out. Anyway, catch you next week. Peace.